On today's docket, Jack's Lumber Mill. Been looking forward to this ever since we saw it yesterday, which really isn't all that long ago. But hey, still looking forward to it. I'm not going to argue the point. Hmm. I always put my computer on the ground right next to a bunch of grass. Hmm. Anyway, it's fine. Wow, look at that. That's hilarious. 37 paper in there, and we went through a bookstore yesterday, and we didn't get that much paper out of a single thing. I mean, total. Sure. So, where's the entrance to this place? Could it be right here through the, the fence where the car crashed into it? That seems unlikely. I suspect there will be quite a few building materials available to us here, in which case I look forward to it. We still have five minutes of better bartering by by the by. Trying to figure out how many more B type words I could get in place. Five would a pop. Two. Two. Nope. Oh, not worth it. Let's get the old face punchers out because I suspect eventually there will be a face to punch. Taking my time going through here. Just cause. Never know. Never know. Besides, I'm enjoying this maze with what is clearly a landmine right there. Well, I don't know if it's clearly a landmine, but I think there's a good possibility that it isn't a landmine. Okay. I was not expecting that. I thought for sure that was a landmine, which doesn't make any sense, and I can tell, but, eh, you know. You gotta keep things interesting, of course. We'll go ahead and break those chairs down. We'll not worry about the rest of this stuff, I think. I guess we'll take that, huh? 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 I'm curious if this is a tier four location, maybe? I don't know. It seems like it's pretty big, but maybe it's really not. Yeah, we'll take that. We might have use of that. You never know. I think we grabbed some food from the trader on the last one. I wonder if that's designed that way, that that's where you're supposed to go next. And the way you know that is because the zombies come jumping through it. I suspect that might be the case. Which, that's kind of a fun design, if so. Dude, I'm looting. Or I'm trying to, anyway. Cabinets here, huh? Oh, red dye. I'll take that. Sink. Come on, sink. Eh. Businessman. Be with you in a little while. Maybe. I don't know that we can... Eh. Sure. Eh. Well, eh. I'll say no for now. Never mind. Might want to put that on something else. We'll save the red dye for the time being. I mean, eh, whatever. Not in, in dire need of dyes. To turn them into paint, though, which might be fun. <laughs> you got goosed at the door. Standard recording cat just walked in. And tertiary recording cat apparently followed her and goosed her. That was pretty funny. This is a pretty good crane design, I gotta say. Considering there's not really a proper setup for vehicles in this game, aside from, you know, the car. That's a pretty good looking crane. Well done, whoever designed that. I mean, that's, that's legit pretty good right there. That's, man. Interesting. 
I mean, presumably that's a generator right there. Is there a faster way to get to that? Interesting that it's stone. Wow, that's steel. Generator bank. There we go. I see, I know I can get to this thing. It's just a matter of finding the correct way to get to it. Should probably address that we are looking at day 19 right now. Gonna be a military truck over here. Wow. How far do I have to, or how closely do I have to get to it? Much closer than I thought. I, I thought I had Dalsim arms, I guess not. But yes, day 19, so of course we will be having the day 21 horde. Looking forward to that. We'll host that at the, uh, the base. Don't quite know how we're going to do that yet, but uh, we'll figure it out. Big old dumpster there, I assume. I'm going to guess that maybe that's the last building to go into, and this is the first one to go into. Oh yeah, she agrees, okay. Well, if you agree, then that makes my decision a little easier. Okay, I'm not really... Oh, this is like the army base now. That's what this makes me think of. Sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt you, sir. Clothes pile, look at that. Have we seen the clothes pile before? I don't remember. I like that, though. To me, that type of stuff just adds a little extra something to the game. Like, it just, it's... It's one of those little details that I think could easily be skipped, and it's not really going to do anything negative. But as soon as you add that, it's just, it's a little touch of thoughtfulness that really is kind of like the, one of the examples you can use to say that, no, these, these devs, look at this. This is the kind of attention to detail they have in the game. And I think that's really cool. It, it, nothing else. It really shows the love put into this game. For as much as I give this game crap about a variety of things, which are quite deserved. I don't know, it's stuff like that that I just absolutely adore. Let's drop this guy, because you don't matter. That one is not going to be a recipe item, so that's fine. We still need to eat that sham chowder here, so we'll get to that shortly, but... As long as I keep finding food, I'm just going to keep eating it, I guess. I'm trying to keep the inventory open, that's really all it comes down to. Okay, those guys are all locked. Might be that we're supposed to go in through here, after all. Okay. I wasn't sure if this was intended to be the entrance, but it sure looks like it. And then you're not supposed to go over that way just yet. And yeah, we're going to stick to the path. With the exception of maybe digging these guys out along the way, but we're still going to go the, the intended path because I think that's a much more enjoyable experience. So we'll pretend we didn't do that. Okay, then. Okay, then some more. There is a backpack in there. I got long arms. I can reach it. And we got some shelving back here. So we'll see if there's anything up here. Ah, look at that. Was that eight? No, three. Okay, I was going to say, wow, eight is a lot. Eight is enough. Only on NBC or something. I don't know. Was that an NBC show? I don't remember. I am now stuck in here. Um. Wow, I am literally no longer stuck in there because I figured out how to get out. Got it. Okay, good. That was going to be really, really embarrassing. 
Hi. How you doing? Perfect. Steel? Mm. Steel armor parts. I guess that kind of counts. Wasn't exactly what I was going for, but you know, I wasn't specific, so sometimes you just, you gotta take it and say, thank you. Uh, nope. Didn't mean to click that button there. Didn't mean it. Okay, we'll take all that stuff. We got some steel tool parts out of that. You know, mostly stuff we can sell. And that's fine. There's a trader nearby, so it's not that hard. Oh, okay. To go there and sell stuff. This is not... This didn't go where I was suddenly thinking it might. Which makes sense. That it didn't go where I thought it might go. So otherwise that'd be weird. Folks, step on up. Okay, we're going to call that good. Let's go upstairs. It's interesting, you were kind of stuck behind there. I don't know if you were actually stuck. I mean, clearly you got out, but... It seemed like you were a little stuck. Did you fall out of there? You must have, because I didn't see you on the ground. Ah, uh, the good old table saw that is no longer used in the game. I think. It's one of those things where it's like... This game has changed so much, and it changes from version to version. We're going to go ahead and eat the sham chowder now, so that'll give us a nice little boost here of 30 stamina, I think it was. Which is quite excellent, I gotta say. I mean, it's all the more reason that, yeah, you, you probably should, just from the standpoint of if you want to do as well as you possibly can, then yeah, you probably should go ahead and be making good food. Not that you can't live without it, but I should have been prepared for that, and I totally was not. Crap. An infection and an abrasion. Okay. We'll use one of those. Take that infection, and we'll use one of those. Take that abrasion. And when my hearing gets back to normal, we'll carry on. Ah, crap. I knew that was going to happen. Okay. I'm not going to go around. I, I just refuse. Hmm. Apparently that is no bueno. Okay. I thought that would be crashing down, but I guess not. Okay, that's cool. Good to know. Uh, we're going to leave that. That's fine. Someone else can have that. Don't want it. Kind of taking a look at everything up here. Okay, let's go on down. How you guys doing? You guys are fast. I don't like that. Man, I like this large magazine for this gun. Quite handy. So that's where we were, and then that just basically turns us around. We end up over here, and we're at the end of this place. So this is going to be a tier three, is my guess, based on what I can see here. So not a four like I was kind of surmising, and definitely not a five if at some point I said it was a five. And it has enough land enough property that it could be a five, I think, but I really think this is probably a four. This is a good POI. 
I I'm not necessarily as enamored of it as maybe some of the other ones, and that's just probably because the loot is not necessarily what I'm looking for. But on the whole, it's really well done. I really like it. It's a good POI. Yeah, this, this screams tier 3 to me. Because we've still got a regular reinforced chest, a couple of boxes, a weapons bag, which we have no room for anything. Oh man, I guess we're going to have to scrap some stuff, huh? Scrap and scrap. We're going to go ahead and scrap that steel shovel that's going to turn into steel tool parts, which I believe we have some. I wouldn't mind getting rid of some of those things here. We'll just drink both waters. And then we're going to drop that off. We'll take that because we need more ammunition. I don't think we have any baseball bat parts. So breaking that guy down, do we have baton parts? Does not look like it. Rifle. Okay. We'll, we'll come back to that in a moment. Let's search this box. Those things are not going to take any space except for the things that do. Okay, so we can scrap that. I guess we can take the AK. We can take that guy. Not as worried about either of these things. We'll, we'll scrap the baseball bat down. And I know we have another baseball bat. And I guess we could scrap that guy down. And then that would allow us to... What's your cost? 51. You're not worth it. That allow us to scrap that down. And I think we will have room for all of those things, if I'm not mistaken. So is there a fast way out of here? Doesn't really look like it. So I'll just make my own fast-ish way out of here. Because, uh, yeah. That works for me. Alright, can I grab my frames? I don't like leaving them behind if I don't have to. I guess technically you never ever have to, but you know what I mean, right? Oh, this car. Wow. Uh, how'd the bike do? Fine. <laughs> ah, that's hilarious. I'm all turned around. Don't swing at me. I mean, we're right here. Let's go see Trader Hugh for yet another time. So, does this guy have stuff in it? We do have some stuff in there. I probably shouldn't have scrapped that steel shovel without comparing it to this one first, but... Oh well. Kinda late for that now. I don't even remember where the battery bank came from. That was in a box somewhere, apparently. I truly don't even remember picking that up. That's kinda crazy. Trader Hugh, my friend, I left your door open. I apologize about hey, that. Buddy. Apologize for that. You here. Um, maybe? Not sure? Machine gun parts. We're not selling you those. I don't think we need to keep all these motor tool parts. We have 50, 50 plus back at the base. So we'll sell you all these parts. Guess we could repair those. Not really going to get a lot for it, so... I'm not going to worry about it. We'll just straight up sell them. It's fine. I'm not I'm not worried about it. Is there anything else I want to pick up? Maybe get a bunch of brass. Maybe get a bunch of lead. I know that's not really something I've been in the habit of buying, and maybe I should be. Crushed sand. Yeah, we'll go ahead and buy some of that, because that's going to give us 300 concrete out of that. Buy your other sham chowder. That's fine. Well, we'll call that good enough. <laughs> I'm going to check your sink, though. And your stove. Oh, look at that. We got an airdrop. Let's go uh, track that down, I guess. Where are you? Right there? Oh, it's kind of back on the road the way we need to go anyway. Because I think at this point, we're probably good out here. Need to do a little more base stuff. I think that'd be a good idea. 
But man, there are, there are a lot of possibilities over here. I think this is one of the places we were looking at that I was trying to figure out what it was. That was the one just on the right, to be clear. We've been over this way, because I think this was the same farm. Yep. Where we harvested a ton of corn. There's a laundromat out here, if I remember. This is going to be the crack of book. There's the laundromat. And what is this right here? The salon. I don't remember the loot in those, but I don't think they're generally what I'm looking for. We're up to a game stage of 74. That still seems really, really low based on what we're getting. So, yeah, I, I suspect the way the game is set up now, you really got to play for a long time before you ever get to the really, really good loot. Which, I mean, I get it. I get it. You don't want people finding amazing stuff on day seven. That would be kind of silly. I agree with that. But every once in a while, you know, throw them a bone. New Life Hope Cabin. Okay, why don't we stop here? That's an interesting looking house, too. New Life Hope Cabin. Okay. Should have sold him the money, that's fine. Got all sorts of stuff out of that place, that's crazy. Oh, I wanted to use that, too. I wanted to test something. I don't know if we're in a good spot for that, though. Here, let's... I thought we had glue in there, didn't we? Well, I guess not. Okay. Yeah, there's still stuff that can be sold. This is... This is kind of silly. That's fine, though. I think there's a better chance of us finding some lead. Or brass, even. Than there is of the crushed sand, so... Watch, this, this place is gonna be, like, full of crushed sand or something. Interesting. Just taking a look around at this place. I see posters back there. It's a shooting range. Got some gasoline up here. Passing gas crate. This kind of stinks of, like, some sort of compound right now. Like a culty compound, to be a little more specific. Oh yeah, one of the changes now is the wine barrels. You can't... Hi. You can't search in them. They're no longer lootable. Oh, did you need that? I still enjoy the, the ragdoll on the steel axe. It's just delightful. And I won't let anyone tell me otherwise. Interesting. Okay. Not as interesting, but okay. Let's see, what do we have in here? Not using a silencer. I'm not particularly stealthy. Alright, we're gonna come back to that. We're gonna leave this. Let's let's see what we've got going on upstairs first. Buddy, you look weird. Why are you trying to bang your head against a, a well? Seems dangerous, my friend. Dangerous. Danger. I don't think there's any good corn in here, but there is medical pile under there. Painkillers. All right, that's cool. I think there's a crawler over there? Maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. I wasn't sure what I saw. I thought I saw movement. Jed, okay. J-E-D. Let's 
Must be Jed's uh, resting place. I'm gonna need a moment here because I need some stamina. So we'll just shoot Jed in the face there. I still don't remember if we have the one that gives us stuff out of it, so that's fine. Let's go check out this cabin. See if it's full of life or hope. So far, it doesn't seem to be. So, how do we get up to that guy? I guess we just do this. Oh, okay. I can work with that. I don't know if there's anything else up there. I kind of want to check just to make sure. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if you're intended to kind of fall down here. Kind of looks like it. Okay. Well, we're going to go down there soon enough. Yeah, there is a crawler. That's right. I thought I saw a crawler. Doesn't look like there's anything up here. We still have some inventory space. Not a lot. Lots of ammo piles going on here. And then, like I said, we got this whole thing going on here. I hear you. I'm not ignoring you. Entirely. You're just kind of obnoxious. Okay, let's go down well. Let's not fall in. I mean, at least the game gives you the courtesy of falling into the water. Although it's really weird water, because you don't want to fall right there, because that's going to sting. Uh, I don't know which way we should go here. I guess this is the end. That's the main loot right there, so either way you go. Where does this go to? I didn't see any other hatches, but I really wasn't paying good attention. Oh, you're right behind that. Well hit him. Good job. I like that. That's really well done. Let's check this guy over here. Maybe the, the last place was a tier 2? I don't know. It seems like maybe it was a lot of loot for a tier 2. And you're hidden behind the hay bales. I remember thinking... With all these hay bales around, I was a little suspicious that there might be something hidden under some of them. And I just wasn't feeling like picking them up, swinging an axe at them, whatever. This seems like this is tier 3 loot just because of the weapons bag. The, the proper large weapon bag, not the small one. But then again... There are no... Well, there are a few... There are a few boxes around the place. It's just there really aren't any out here at the end. Okay. I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I, I don't really care one way or the other which it is. It's just kind of trying to keep track of stuff generally. And we should probably trash that iron leg armor. It's not going to be worth it. Well then, I think we have pretty much finished this place up. I know I was still hearing some zombies, but I don't think I'm really inclined to wander around and see where they are. I think there was one back on this side, but I don't see him now. Oh, there he is. Literally drove right past him. I'm like, wait a minute, what did I just see? As I was saying, I don't see him. I drive right past him. Go figure. Okay, can we... Put anything in there. That should be enough space, I think. We'll scrap those guys because that'll break down a little bit. We'll be able to get one more out of there. I was going to do something, but that's fine. We can head back and do it. I just wanted to see. I thought this would be a kind of fun thing to do. Might regret it. Might not. We'll find out. So we're going to head back into town just momentarily. We're not going to really stick around for long. Although some of these POIs, they, they 
they look like they'd be kind of interesting to check out, so... On the one hand, it's kind of a shame, because I'd like to check some of these guys out. Uh, this will work just fine for my purposes. Trader's like, you're back again? Um, yeah, I mean, we, we, we could sell him something, but that's fine. We don't need to, not by any stretch. So we're going to go climb the original tower we climbed when looking for giant towers to climb. And we'll get a nice view of this part of town in the daylight now. Should be a nice change from before. Because, you know, comparatively, this one is so much further west than that one. I mean, in a way, it kind of is. I mean, you can really see that POI now, which it's cool. You can really see the maze in it. That's kind of fun. I like that. It is a really large location, too. I mean, when you look at how big it is compared to that one or like over here. Even the trader is pretty small, comparatively. So, I've been meaning to test something, and here's how we're going to test it. Yep, worked just fine. Okay. That's basically what I wanted to know. I mean, it said, and I know what it says, and I know what we've tested before. But sometimes you don't trust what it says until you really experience it, and then you're like, wow, that was kind of cool. And that was. That was kind of cool. I could get used to that, only... It seems like it's going to be a while before we're really climbing the big skyscrapers and all that stuff, because... I mean, yeah, we could totally do it right now, but... I go back to the... The question I've had before. Is it worth it? I've been leaning towards no, but maybe it is. I don't know. You tell me. What do you think? Go to the big places now or wait until game stage is higher? Clearly, I've favored one particular choice over the other. Not sure it's the right one, but it's the one I've been making. Just the same, we are good for today. We have done good work. We might have a horde next week, I'm not sure. I guess we'll have to wait and see how all this stuff shakes out. I'm still a little concerned about what's going to happen when the stable version of the game comes out. Will this translate over? Are we going to be hamstringing ourselves if we don't change to the new stable version and start a whole new world? Should I just bite the bullet and do a nitrogen of a new world? I don't know. I kind of hate to give up what's well, been a really fun series and, quite honestly, making some really good, important progress in terms of, you know, what we're doing here, not necessarily the game. But the game itself has made some good, important progress too, but they really need to sort out their performance issues because this is ridiculous. But anyway, that aside... We have done good work today. We will rejoin next week for something else. At the very least, I want to give you the assurance that I will see this through to the next horde. I'm not going to dump this before the next horde unless something happens and I don't have a way around it. Which might mean I need to copy this game before... Oh, we do have a tier 4 clear right here. Okay. It's probably because... That's going to be the same one, I'm willing to bet. We'll drive by it right quick just to make sure. I thought it was the other day. But anyway, so long as Steam doesn't break this or the game doesn't break this, I intend to see this through to completion. And then if we have to start a new thing, we can start a new thing. And yep, here it is. Exclamation point. Be right over there. Yep, can just see it bouncing faintly. So we can go through this one again. Tier 4 clear. It was pretty quick and painless last time. It was enjoyable. I like that POI. It's a lot of fun. There's some decent loot at the end. Not a lot along the way, but, you know, whatever. We've done good work. Go check out patreon.com slash Gaming if you haven't lately. It really hasn't changed if you checked it out before, but just give it a thought. That's all I ask. A little value for value proposition. I'll catch you on the next one. Until then, thanks for watching. See you later.